In this video, we're going to explore the UI interface for DV5. It's completely different as compared to how things were in DV4. So let me show you where things are around so you don't get lost when you start using DV5. Just like before, we click here on this plus button to add either a regular section, speciality or full width. So if I go with full width here, I can now choose full width header or full width image. So let's go with header. As you can see, the design here hasn't changed so much, but the most important thing here is to take a look at what happens on the right, because this is where everything is now. We don't have those pop-ups that we used to have before. So if I want to make any changes now, I can just click on this gear icon and then it takes me to my changes. So I can go in here into the design layout. I can center things. I can make it full screen and so on. Now, what's interesting here is if I click anywhere in here, it takes me into the mode here where I can go in and start making changes. So let's say I want to make changes to the top section. If I click here once, or if I click on this gear icon, it now takes me to this section. So I can go in and add a background color, for example, like that. Now, when it comes to adding my rows, I can also click here on this little plus button. And now I am presented with my columns. So I can choose these three columns, for example, and here I can choose blur. Now, while I've, uh, in fact, you know what, this background color doesn't look good. So let's see how quickly we can change this. So you can see here, I've just clicked anywhere in the section and it's already taken me to my um, options here where I can do my changes, which is fantastic, by the way. So the change here is when you click anywhere, like for example, if I want to change my rows here, I can just hover and click. And now I'm in my rows. And then I can go in here, go to sizing if I need to, change my gutter width like that, equalize column heights, and so on. So the beauty of this interface is we just click where we want to make changes to. We don't really have to go to this gear icon. So again, one more time, if I click in here, I'm now in my sections. The other thing that you'll notice, which is really, really cool, is the fact that we don't have any pop-ups anymore. So if you're expecting those I mean, it, that, that's a thing of the past. Now, the next thing we need to take a look at is the shortcuts. And it looks like the shortcuts are still working. So let's say I want to copy this. I'm just going to hit Command C. And then I'm going to come over here and hit Command V. So copy and paste is working, which is brilliant. Now, there's also another feature brand new in DV5 where you can go in and customize your mobile views or mobile designs just by using one click of a button. So here... You notice that we have the options here. If I click on this drop down, we have tablet and phone, but we also have it here. So anything that I want to change in this view here can be done pretty much across the whole page. So I want to do something very subtle here. I want to go in and make changes to this blurb. So right now I'm in my tablet view. So in my tablet view, I want to change this background to, um, let's go with that. This is just for demo purposes only. <laughs> I know it looks ugly. So let's say this is what I need for my tablet view. Now let's go to mobile view. And in my mobile view, I want to change that as well to maybe something like that. Let's reduce this down a little bit. Okay. So now if I go back, you notice that every time I switch, now we have this color here. And we also have a different color here for my phone view. So as you can see, it is very, very easy now to use. Now, if you think it's just only working on this here, well, that's not correct. It also works pretty much on everything that's on the page, which means that our workflow now has been really, really fast. So let's do this one more time. So this time I want to change the background of this main section here. So I'm going to go in and add a color here for the mobile. And then I'm going to change this for the tablet. In fact, the tablet, let's change this to black. Okay. So again, if I switch over here, this is my desktop. If I go now to my tablet, you notice that I have my red there. And then if I go to my mobile, I have my black. So anything that you change in whatever view that you are in is pretty much going to apply across that whole page, which means we're doing away with that, <coughs> with that idea of going onto each and every item here to make the changes to, which is fantastic. Now, the next thing I wanna take a look at here is dark view. So if I click on this little icon here, we notice that we are in dark mode. So I can start designing this in dark mode. I mean, I'm not really a fan of this, but of course, if this is something that you wanna use, then that is pretty cool. 
Over here, we have the undo. So if I wanted to undo my last action, I can just go in and do that. And then I can redo it by clicking there. This one here is my history. So I can really scroll down to whatever parts uh, throughout my design and revert back to that position, which again is very good. Now, what I also like as well is I like the fact that everything is all here in one interface because before we used to go to so many buttons to achieve so many things. So let's say I want to export this design. I can just click here on import export and then I can just give this a name and click here to export the Divi Builder layout. And pretty much in a moment, it's done. Okay, so now it's downloaded. I can now import it at the later stage or share this with anyone that I want to share it with. If I want to clear this whole design, I can just click on this little button here and this clears the whole design, which is pretty cool. Now, this one here is to add to library. So there's a few options here. I can add this to uh, the Divi Cloud if I wanted to, but um, I can just save this to my library. So to do that, I can just click on save to library give this a name and this has gone to my library. Now the cool thing as well here is while I'm designing this, I can just do a quick preview and this now opens in a new tab. So this will show me so far my progress in my design. And I wanna do a quick check here to see if my views are working. And sure enough, you can see here, this is my tablet view. And if I continue on, this now is my mobile view. So everything is working fine. So as you're designing, you can quickly go in and do a preview and see how well you're doing before you even save the page, which is something that we didn't have before. The next thing I wanna talk about is your presets. So let's say I go into uh, this design here and let's just do a few changes to, to this and see if we can do our presets. Right, so let's start off with uh, image and icon here. I rather have an, an icon. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's say this icon here. And then throughout my design, I'm just gonna make a few changes. I'm gonna to go to the text and align it. And I'm also going to change the size of this icon to that. And while I'm here, I'm also going to add a padding around it. So we're gonna go with 2% uh, all around. Okay, so I want that every time I design my blurb, this is going to be my default. In fact, let's increase this to about six. Okay, and maybe give this a background color. All right, so let's give this something very subtle here. Like that. So I want this to be my default every time I create a blurb on my website. So if I come over here to default preset, this is where you're going to find all your presets. I'm gonna say, add new preset. Okay, so I can now save the preset. Okay, so the next thing we wanna take a look at here is over to the left. So here we have our layers. So let's say you want to pinpoint where everything is while you're designing. You can just come over here to your layers and this will help you navigate. So for example, let's say I wanna make changes to this column here. I can just click on that and that takes me to all my options for that column. And this is column three. And if I need to go to my full width header, you can see by clicking here, it just takes me specifically to that little icon. So why is this important? Well, there's sometimes a situation where you're designing your website and things are very difficult to select or you can't really see them. So you'd use this to pinpoint where everything is, which is really good. Now let's move on to the next item, which is X-ray. Now I really like X-ray because as you're designing, sometimes you wanna see where everything is. So you can see here it has been activated. It now has this very light line around everything. So in fact, let me add something else here so you can see what I mean. So now if I were to add, let's say my bar counters, you know, it's very clear now that, you know, it ends there. So I can go in and make further customizations if I need to. Now you can just toggle it on and off just like that, but it's a good way of visualizing everything you are working on. Now we also have our builder settings. So here we are, we have our default view, which is the desktop. But if you wanna design maybe mobile first, then you can have your mobile view as your main view. But if you also want to design in wireframe mode, you can also do that. So as you can see here, we can just duplicate this, drag things around, you know, like that. I mean, it's much quicker way if you prefer designing things this way. 
but this is your wireframe mode if you want to use that as your first mode. Now I prefer desktop view, so I'm gonna keep everything like that. And you can see there quickly, I was able to drag and drop things really fast. Okay, so we also have a few things here like page creation workflow. We have your opacity levels here. We also have our interface mode. If you want to keep it dark as the default, you can set it over here. And we also have a color scheme. So we have several colors here. We have purple, if you want to choose that, or you can go with red. And that is now my uh, color scheme, okay? We can also en enable the admin bar. So if you want to quickly go to you know, WordPress, you can just go in uh, really fast by having this admin bar uh, right there. In fact, to be honest, I really prefer the admin bar because there are cases where I'm designing and I just need to quickly go back to my dashboard or to my plugins. So this works really, really good. I'm just gonna save this. Now we also have this help option here. So we have a few uh, tutorials, I'm sure. I'm not sure if this is the new ones. So let's have a look. No, this is the old stuff. There is no help videos at the moment uh, to uh, show us how these modules work, like how they had before. Now I totally understand, you know, this has just been released. So I would uh, not expect to have these uh, help videos yet, but so far, so good. I mean, it looks very, very nice. Okay, so the next thing I wanna take a look at here is this gear icon. So let's say you wanna make changes or you wanna make some settings to your main page or the page you're working on. This is where you would come. And you can see here that this is where I can change my page title. So let's call this uh, test one, for example. Now that's gonna update. I can add my featured image. I can also go in and change my background color. On the design here, I can also add some spacing, my gutter width here, like that. And you can see it has changed. And I can also go to my text here, change my text color and my dark text color. Over here on the um, advanced tab, I can also go in and make some changes to my custom CSS, visibility and position. So that's it for the page here. So you can toggle on and off and all your options will show over here. All right, so let's hit save one more time. Now at any point, if you wanna change your breakpoints here, you can also go in and add your breakpoints. So let's say uh, this needs to be 1480. I can go in and type it in like that, and now that has reduced, as you can see. And also, here, you can zoom out by uh, using the shortcut Command, or is it Command minus, to zoom out of your design. So let's try that. You can see here, I'm zooming out. Now, if I want to do it manually, I can always come over here and just select 100% or 50 now, throughout this whole design, I was wondering where some of the features had gone to, especially the hover effect, because the hover is very important as we're designing our site. So it is really <laughs> hidden here. Let me show you where this is. So if you come over here to this little icon, you're going to notice that we have our desktop, tablet, phone, and then we have hover. So when you click on this, you can now go to whatever it is you want to design. So for example, Let's say you wanna make a change to the background of this on hover. So you can go in here and choose the color. So for example, let's have this uh, yellow here as the hover. So all I have to do now is do save. And to test it, we're gonna go onto this tab here and refresh this page. And now when I hover over this, you notice that the color now is changing on hover. So that is how you use hover on this interface. It's very, very easy to use. Uh, you can just uh, click on it. Now, if you wanna go out of this mode, all you have to do is to go back to your desktop and pretty much you're back to normal. So you can use this on pretty much every anything that you want to uh, work on. So let's say I want to add a hover onto this particular row. I can just click on it like that, come over here, go to hover, and then let's say it's a background color. Again, I'm gonna use yellow for this and save. And then over here, I'm gonna refresh the page and then see if that's gonna work as well. And sure enough, when I hover over here, it is working. So that is how you use hover in this new DV5 interface. So I also did a first look at DV5. I'll link that in the video description below, or you can just click it over here. So go ahead, go ahead, check it out and see what my impressions are of DV5. And also I have a DV University, go ahead and sign up. It's absolutely free. This is a community of DV users. And finally, if you haven't purchased DV yet, the link to that is in the video description below. 
go ahead and purchase it before the price increases. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.